Today we're going to talk about drip irrigation versus gray water irrigation. With drip irrigation, it sits on the surface or very near the surface. And if you ever walk by a drought tolerant landscape, you'll notice these big round wet spots on the surface. Well, the bad thing about drip irrigation, first of all, it's using tap water. So you're using drinkable water, water that should be used for drinking or, or used for your cooking. But that circle is also losing water to evaporation. So you're losing water out to the atmosphere as you're irrigating your landscape. Another bad thing is, as this water starts to build, it creates this long plume. And once it gets past a certain point, that's beyond where the roots are. So the roots aren't gonna go searching for it, and you lose all this water down into the subsurface of the soil. So you're losing water up here on evaporation, and you're losing water to deep percolation. Now with gray water, this is zero potable water. This is water that you've already used in your shower or your laundry, and you're reusing it for your landscape. So automatically, you're saving that much water. How the gray water works, it sits 12, the aquifer pipe in this case, sits 12 inches below the surface, and it creates a moisture plume. That moisture plume goes up four feet on each side, and then goes as high as 22 inches. We usually cover this with a lot of mulch to prevent any additional evaporation and keep that moisture locked in there. What's important is that the plants feed from the moisture plume. They don't feed from the pipe. That's why it can be buried 12 inches below. So, 100% gray water, 0% tap water, just a reduction of your tap water. I think that's a big difference. So. Thank you, Gray Water, your next irrigation product. Click on the description below to find out where to buy the products. We also have links to instructions to how to build a Gray Water system. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. We would also love to hear your questions and also share how you prevent climate change. Put those in the comment section as well.